The other day, I uh, had decided that I was going to go install this new uh, window in the door of the RV that I'd picked up, and uh, it was going to be a pretty basic, uh, straightforward project to do. And of course, I'm going to make a video and uh, share it with you. Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com. As it turns out, this happens sometimes. Things just do not go the way that you think they're going to go. And this was one of those uh, cases. I wanted to make this video today. And uh, of course, I want to show you the install. I also want to share with you the entire story about what really went down and uh, share with you some of the mistakes that I made along the way because, yeah, there were some mistakes. Now I checked the weather and I looked outside and it, it was cloudy and overcast but uh, you know it wasn't supposed to rain and so I decided to go out and do this project. I got all the stuff I needed for the project, I brought it down to the RV, got my camera out, got it all set up and ready to go and uh, guess what? <laughs> it starts to rain. Luckily I had the awning so I was able to pull the awning out on the RV and uh, under the awning I went ahead and shot the intro. Here's how the video got started, and uh, go ahead and watch it, and I'll uh, head inside because it's getting a bit noisy and <laughs> cold out here. I have a little confession. You see that window in the door on the RV? We've really never liked that window and really haven't really seen much of a use for it outside of letting a little bit of light in the RV during the day, but for the most part, we don't like it. Now I came across this product on Amazon and it's called the Thin Shade and it looks like it's just a drop-in replacement for uh, this uh, you know diffused uh, window on the door so it should be able to just drop right in but the cool thing about this uh, window here is it's actually a window you can see through so it has a, a tinted a glass a panel as well as uh, a a pleated shade that is is actually mounted inside the frame of this window so you can close it and open it when you need to and looks like the installation is going to be pretty easy and straightforward to remove the old one and put this new one in so I better get started because uh, it's starting to rain right around this time my neighbor decides this is a great time to start using power tools yeah and uh, kind of shuts me down for, for a little while uh, and I have to wait that out. <sighs> now if we look at the uh, thin shade here, it comes with a few pieces for this window and I've already kind of put it together just to see how it uh, all gets sandwiched together. So this would be like the inside of the door. You can see it has this uh, shade that slides up and down kind of sits inside the frame here we got some screws here to sandwich these uh, the front and the back together there we have our piece of glass and the outer frame and um, yeah like I said everything kind of gets sandwiched together in one piece and we can see that if we just take this off here and uh, our blind unit just kind of pops right out and we have our piece of tempered uh, tinted glass here as well. Now before installing it, I'm gonna remove the old one. And uh, while I do that, I'm gonna tape the frame in place for the old one with some blue tape, just so it doesn't fall apart while I uh, remove the screws. It's just a screw gun. Luckily it stopped raining and I was able to uh, retract the awning and get a little bit more light on what I was doing. And uh, things are starting to uh, move along at this point. Now before I put the uh, new window in, I want to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol here and a, and a rag and just clean the uh, surface around the edge here where the old uh, seal was just to give it a nice clean surface to uh, 
to create a new seal for the new window. Now I can put the new frame on and uh, just like I did when I removed the old one, I'm gonna hold it in place with some uh, blue tape uh, just while I screw it in because we don't want anything to fall out, especially when I put the glass in. All right, that should hold it. I can flip it over and I'll uh, put the glass in. I'm also gonna tape the glass in just so it doesn't fall out either. Okay, I know it looks great, but that's not actually how it went. Here's what really happened. I'm gonna hold it in place with some uh, blue tape uh, just while I screw it in because we don't want anything to fall out, especially when I put the glass in. Because we don't want anything to fall out, especially when I put the glass in. And I'm also gonna tape the glass in just so it doesn't fall out either while I uh, sandwich the whole thing together. Yeah, almost a disaster. <laughs> okay, I realized that the, uh, the masking tape, the blue tape that I was using uh, just wasn't holding it good enough on the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to uh, gaffer tape, a little bit stronger tape. And uh, I don't wanna take any chances here and it uh, should work much better. Okay, I think this is the trickiest part. I'm basically getting the two uh, pieces sandwiched together without dropping anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of find the holes on these other sides just to get it started, just so yeah, I can feel the screws as I put them in. Almost there. It's getting dark out here. Okay, I just got these uh, screws started and just, so they're not totally flush yet, but I wanted to make sure everything's working properly before I uh, do the final uh, tightening because there's a little bead of um, silicone or sealant on the other end that needs to compress a little bit. So I'm just gonna take that part nice and slow. You certainly don't wanna over torque it with your uh, drill driver, in fact, even using a regular screwdriver at this point is probably the best approach. Now I was pretty happy with the outcome at this point until I realized that I had actually installed the inside frame upside down. There were some uh, little uh, holes at the top that are actually for condensation to run out the bottom. So yeah, I had to flip it upside down. So I hit record on the camera to uh, explain this to you that uh, you know I installed it upside down and needed to redo it in the right direction, uh, or so I thought. Instead, I stopped recording on the camera and uh, got this great footage of me moving the tripod and the camera to a new spot instead. Now thinking that I'm almost done at this point, I realized that in the process of flipping that uh, frame around, I had lost a couple of screws that had fallen out and uh, I couldn't find them.
I searched and searched the ground and eventually found one, but I was still missing one. So it was starting to get dark at this point. And uh, I just went into the garage and uh, started rifling around through this massive collection of screws that I have to try to find one that uh, was similar. Now I didn't find the exact kind of screw, but I found one that fit and it was a little different and it wasn't black, but uh, I was able to fix that with a, a black permanent marker. One of these things is not like the others. Which one is different? Do you know? But hey, all is well that ends well. You know, if everything would have gone just perfectly, you know, I could have done this uh, project in about 30 minutes, uh, you know, with, if I didn't have to film it or, uh, you know, just knock it out, I could have done it pretty quickly. But uh, all in all, with all the mishaps, it took about three hours or more. And about 30 minutes of that was dealing with that missing screw. But uh, in the end, you know, I ended up with a really nice uh, window that we really like. Looking good now that I have it uh, assembled in the right direction. <laughs> it's going to be nice having a window that you can actually see through. And you know, I picked this up on Amazon. I'll go ahead and drop a link uh, in the description below if you want to check it out. I think it costs only about uh, 70 bucks total uh, for this uh, thin shade. Is that what it's called? Thin shade. Okay, final note that I did not get on camera, but uh, as I was putting everything away, I was unrolling the, uh, the cover so I could zip it all back up, and I didn't realize that uh, it had filled up with water, you know, in the rolls uh, while I was filming the video, and uh, all of that water pretty much dumped on me <laughs> while I was unrolling it, but ah, what can you do? Gotta laugh about it. <laughs>